Hi, I'm Nick here for Jacob's Vocal Lessons, and today, of course, I want to talk about singing. Um, singing is one of the most fundamentally human activities I can imagine. It, it predates history. In some sense, I, I, it, it probably predates formalized speaking. We, we sing when we're happy, when we're sad, when we love, when we lose, and we sing just because the sun is shining. It, it, we sing impulsively and uncontrollably. Yet we ask ourselves, can anyone learn to sing as if it's this ethereal, untouchable sort of thing we've, we've turned it into today? But when asked, can anyone learn to sing, I have to answer yes, absolutely. There is, there is no doubt about it. If you can speak, if you have a voice, you're basically already a singer. You just have to learn how to use it. Now, you may be thinking, that's, that's impossible. I, I have friends who could speak until they're blue in the face, but couldn't carry a tune in the bucket. Or you might be thinking, I'm that person. Don't worry, if you can speak, you can already sing. So over the next few minutes, I'm gonna give you three super simple tips to get you singing healthfully and skillfully. Now the first one is to sing with your voice. That may sound pedantic, but we all have these aural images of how we should, could, or even do sound. We spend our whole lives subjected to recorded voices that have been processed by microphones and equalizers and compressors and the, the list goes on. We love the sounds created by these technological marvels and we want to emulate it. After all, the sound is being produced by a human voice at its core, right? But many of the performers, although they may be really great singers, the, uh, the final product we're, we're hearing is never an actual representation of the human voice. When you sing, you shouldn't attempt to match these impossible feats in their entirety. And I'll let you in on a little secret. A lot of these performers, the, they don't sound like they do on the radio either. Even the best performers can never sound like that electronically processed music. Instead of trying to match that, you should really carve your own path to the same end result. Sing in a way that feels healthful and comfortable to you. If something you try seems too difficult or just unreachable, back up and try it another way. The chances are you weren't singing the passage as healthfully as you could, causing yourself more difficulty in registration or phonation. When you sing healthfully, I can 100% promise that your audience will enjoy the sound produced, whether it's your favorite or not. Practice developing your own sound and using it to its fullest. Practice flexibility and agility daily. Practice some range extensions daily. Basically, sing every day. That's the key to understanding your voice and developing it physically. Which brings me to my second point. Your singing system is much more than just your voice and all of it needs physical conditioning. When we sing, we're engaging a circuit of musculature and folds within our body. The, the diaphragmatic system activates, causing the diaphragm to expand and curve downward, the lungs to expand, creating a vacuum, taking in air, and, in the, and at the same time, lowering and stabilizing the larynx in preparation for singing or for speaking. Therefore, all of those muscles need to be trained in this process. The diaphragmatic system is possibly the easiest and most essential of these to train. Consider your, uh, consider your ability to breathe like your ability to put fuel in your car. Even the best car isn't going anywhere without fuel, and even the best voice can't really be at its best without proper breath support, without proper fueling. Now, this isn't to say more air is the answer. That's not always the case. Breath support can be a major issue in many new singers and is often the first thing addressed by, addressed by voice coaches, but overblowing, not enough air, it's all, uh, it's all subjective and, and will vary from case to case. Now, daily strengthening and, strengthening and conditioning of the breathing system will make a dramatic change in your singing, just as with daily strengthening and conditioning of the voice itself. Developing muscle memory in the voice will prove to be key in improving agility, flexibility, range, and power over time. It's all a matter of practice, of spending time exploring your voice and learning what all it can do. Time, as with many skills here, is the key to learning to sing, which leads to my third point. There is no magic trick to, to singing like a pro in five days. This may not seem like a tip and it may not be what you want to hear, but you've seen the videos. Sing like a pro in six days. Three easy tricks to be a professional. Try this one weird tip and you'll sing like Mariah freaking Carey. Well, 
you've probably watched a few of these and possibly even tried the tricks and tips therein. Unfortunately, if you did, you probably didn't get the awe-inspiring, earth-shattering results the video promised you. In fact, it's much more likely that you saw very little real change, had your hopes dashed, and are now here watching this video hoping I would tell you the actual magic trick. Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't exist. However, don't dismay over this, find solace because this really means that absolutely anyone can learn to sing. It just takes a bit of time and effort, no quick fix nonsense. That's the real magic trick done by professional singers. It's, it's that they don't arrive to the world gifted with a golden larynx and musical wisdom. They're people just like you. They've just spent a lot of time with their instrument every day for many, many days, many months and years. And then by the time we see them arrive on the main stage, they've already mastered their art. They've mastered their own unique instruments. It's very rare that we hear the pre-professional phase, but I can promise most of them used to sound just like you. So to once again answer the question, can anyone learn to sing? I have to again say absolutely unequivocally, yes. Singing is not the untouchable, ethereal, marketed, manufactured thing we've turned it into today. It's intrinsically and uniquely human, but it is not unique to just a few humans. We all have a voice and each of us has a place where our unique voice is needed. Don't try to be the next Steven Tyler or Sam Smith or Ariana Grande, whoever. They're already fulfilling the world's need for their unique voices. Instead, be the best you you can be, bringing the voice that is yours and yours alone into the holes that only you can fill, whether that's a slot in the church choir or the spotlight at the Metropolitan Opera. Whatever it is you do, just go sing. We all can't wait to hear you. While I've got your attention, if you can make a quick stop by patreon.com slash Jacob's Vocal Lessons, all one word, no underscores or anything, and, uh, and help support this YouTube channel, you'd really be, you'd really be helping us out. And uh, I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Go sing.